Good morning. Looks like it did nothing but rain last night, which was not in the forecast. It was supposed to be snow. Utah didn't take her medications or something. So I'm heading to the gym. Get a bit of a workout and uh, get a shower in. Gonna meet up with some friends afterwards and grab some breakfast. minutes early before they open um, so today I'm going to check out another vehicle the Suburban it is a good vehicle I'm sure it would be more than capable but the fuel economy on it and the subsequent raise of my insurance uh, I'm not liking that we got paid on Wednesday and uh, instantly $125 went towards to get the fuel tank. Now I wouldn't have a big problem with it if I was getting a lot more mileage, but as I've been just primarily sticking around to this little town that I'm in and going to work back and forth and maybe outside of city limits just for a, a little bit or uh, just for a few miles um, I'm going through 35 gallons in two weeks I know to the rest of the world it sounds like I'm doing a lot of complaining because well the lowest gas we have Walmart um, is two two sixty nine a gallon and I know in the rest of the country they're like shit I'm paying seven bucks a gallon you know I, I feel you Southern California I really do um, but you can also understand my perspective but I can almost look away from the fuel costs if it weren't for insurance I went from fifty dollars a month for my Dakota to a hundred and twenty six dollars I have a great driving record. I haven't had a ticket in almost 10 years. No accidents, and I've maintained insurance coverage for the past seven. Why was I spending so much because of the Suburban? And it basically boils down to, when it comes to your insurance, not you that they're worrying about and covering, it's the damage that you're going to do to someone else. Very likely, anything that I hit in this thing is going to be totaled. It's going to be a loss for my company. They're open now. Time to get a little motivated, get my circulation running, a nice dip in the spa, and get my day started. <laughs> It's not you, baby. It's me. Yeah. So this vehicle is just way too much for my particular lifestyle. If I was only doing weekend camping trips, this would be fine. But economically, this vehicle is not the vehicle I need for a van life type situation. I have no need for all this extra power, the V8, a tow package, an air ride system. And there are probably some people out there saying, well, you never know in the future. Well, in the future, if something like that is needed, 
I'd probably get a newer vehicle to tow anything at all. I'm not just abandoning her right now. I'm in the shopping phase. I'm not going to get anything as small as the Ranger I had, although it was wonderful on gas. 37 bucks would get me 325 miles. I would probably, I would possibly consider a minivan again. Um, there's a few people who have offered to sell me their Astro vans, and I have nothing against Astro vans, nor the owners of the Astro van that I had purchased off of them when I first started this channel. What happened to it wasn't anything that they could have possibly have known about. And Astro vans are still, in my book, pretty damn cool. Now that winter is coming on, there are a lot of people who are not comfortable with their rear 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 real rear wheeled drive pickup trucks. I'm gonna do some shopping. Now that that is out of the way, it's time for breakfast. All right, breakfast is done. Okay, so. I'm gonna go pick up my other friend because unlike previous times, I never took somebody with me who had a bit more mechanical knowledge than myself. So this time, I'm bringing somebody along with. Future Mike here. One of the other reasons why it is a good idea to bring somebody along with you is they can also be a soundboard for you. A voice of reason. The My friend let me know that a lot of the fuel mileage issues is with inner city travel. When it comes to highway, I, it's not such a big deal. So... We did end up going down to Salt Lake and checking out this truck that I had found and it was a very nice vehicle. However, it was going to take about two grand worth of work and I just got to thinking about it and I just, I think I'm just going to hold off for right now. Eventually I'll be in a new vehicle, but for right now. I'm just going to make this one work. I've been delayed too long, and it's time to go. With that, I will end this video. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.